Today, I would like you to reflect on the environmental impact of an object that almost anyone has at home, a sanitary napkin. Have you ever considered that one of these needs more than 200 years to decompose? Consider that a woman in a day uses an average from three to five napkins, it mean, and that the period lasts from three to seven days. It means that only in Europe every month, more than seven million napkins are thrown into the rubbish. Imagine what it can mean to repeat it for years and years. Is there a solution? Someone will say no, because women will continue to have their period, and they cannot stay at home like it was in the past. But actually, there is a solution, but only very few women are aware of it. The cat. What is a cat? Not this one. This. This is a medical-grade silicon cap worn inside the vagina during the menstrual period. It collects the blood from 3 to 12 hours. Then you simply have to remove it, wash it under fresh water, and reuse it. When the period is finished, you boil it in a little pot or in the microwave, and you keep it in a cotton bag. The first time I heard about a cap, I thought it was disgusting. I thought it was not clean, I thought it was not comfortable, I thought it was not healthy and not hygienic. But nothing is less correct. First of all, the cap is absolutely comfortable. While it is worn correctly, you cannot feel it. Secondly, the cap is clean. Consider that the, the blood never touches the hair, so there is no odor association. Then, it is also, also hygienic, because you boil it. And I know it can sound a bit trivial, but I don't think that you boil everything that enters the door, if you know what I mean. And <laughs> in the end, uh, it is also healthy. Consider that tampons uh, absorb all the moisture inside the vagina, including healthy fluids that are necessary to preserve vaginal walls. So the best point of the cat are ecology and economy. Ecology, because one cap lasts more than 10 years. And economy, because for sure you have to buy once in 10 years. Imagine what a huge revolution it can bring in the third world, where women are obliged to choose between napkins or food, and they must stay at home during the period. They cannot work, they cannot go to school. So it can be an amazing revolution. When I met Federica, Sonia, and Elisa, my friends of Lunetica, we decided to organize a no-profit association to spread the word about the cap. Generally, people are quite interested, and they, they ask us some questions, and some of them are quite funny, and I want to share with you. For example, can I have sex while using the cap? Unfortunately, not. You cannot. There is only a soft cup that permits you to have sex during the period, but I don't think it is really comfortable. You cannot say it is ecological if in one period you have to use more than 10 caps. Okay, girl, do you know the thing that pour water, open the water, wash the cap, reuse the cap. You don't need to, to change the cap during the period. Can I pee in the cap? Okay. <laughs> It is physiologically impossible to pee in the cap. <laughs> you can pee while wearing the cap, but not inside it. When you take it out, what about the blood? I don't know. Personally, I feel a vampire family. The cap gives sexual pleasure to women. The period is just an excuse. Yes, as a matter of fact, this is sold in every sexy shop. <laughs> the cap does not respect your man. Only him can enter the door. Come on. But it is the best one. The cat is part of a sexist plot to force women to stay at home because it is impossible to change it in the office toilet. Imagine, you take it out, you exit the toilet with your pants in the hand, the cap in the other, you wash it in front of the colleagues, and then you put it back inside. Yes, because always I call all my colleagues to watch me in the toilet. Do you still have some doubt? You don't care about economy, you don't care about ecology. 
Think that with a cap, you can wear your, your white swimsuit, take your bike, go to the seaside, and swim all afternoon without any single problem. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.